Hamilton family got tired of the ski slopes, so they're mixing things up at the bobsled track. Nothing says fun like an exceedingly high risk of brain injury. To avoid said injury, the winners will need to have some fast reactions. Speaking of which, let's take this opportunity to discuss reaction rates and the rate law. Let's go. It may not be surprising, but reaction rate is the speed at which a chemical reaction occurs. And if that is surprising, hopefully this sign measuring sled speed will help you remember. You can measure the speed of a chemical reaction by finding the concentration of reactants and products at two different points in time. This allows you to determine how fast the reactants are consumed and the products are made. And the speed sign displays the units M over S because reaction rates are measured in molarity per second, capital M over S, not to be confused with lowercase m over S, meters per second. Hey, it looks like the first team has crossed the finish line. And we'll let their side of the finish line represent the products of a reaction. They were seriously prepared to celebrate, and their aggressively positive vibes should remind you that products have a positive reaction rate because as time moves forward, more of them are made and their concentration increases. Whereas the losers on the other side of the finish line are feeling pretty negative, since reactants have negative reaction rates. That's because as time goes on, reactants are used up and their concentration decreases.